Hi, I'm Brian Etchison here with Adam Basham. And Adam, what does Veterans Day mean to you? Um, Veterans Day really just means uh, honoring the people that have sacrificed and um, served for our country and those who have passed away for our country and um, honoring the people that protect the freedoms we have in our country. Hello, I'm here with Carter Screeton. And Carter, what does Veterans Day mean to you? Um, Veterans Day means to me just like it's a time to thank our veterans for serving and for the people that continue to serve and to remember those who have given the ultimate sacrifice. Hi, I'm here with Jay Heckthorn. Jay, what does Veterans Day mean to you? Um, it's a time to uh, thank the soldiers that go over and fight for our country. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Kat Rezin. And Kat, what does Veterans Day mean to you? Uh, it's just a way of celebrating people who have served our country. I guess, it, I mean, it, I don't have any family in there, so it's important, but not as important as, to me as it is to other people. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Screeton. And Mr. Screeton, what does Veterans Day mean to you? Uh, Veterans Day always makes me think of my uh, father, who was in the Korean War, along with two of his brothers, who were also in the uh, Korean War. Uh, I guess what comes to mind is uh, the bond that uh, was developed in all three of his brother, in all two of his brothers and himself that uh, came about because of their sacrifice that uh, they gave in that war. Uh, my father my whole life and and he passed away in 2000 but my father his whole life was a marine corps i guess so i should say die hard uh he uh every year on what the day that he enlisted in the marines he uh would shave his head up until and he passed away at age 63 but uh every year no matter how old he was, no matter what he was doing on his Marine Corps birthday, he uh, would shave his head as a symbol that he was still loyal to the Marine Corps and also still loyal to his country. Uh, I guess what it really showed me was the there's a bond there between all servicemen, no matter what branch you're in, that goes really, really, really deep. And I think it's why we're a great country. I think it's a bond that has never, ever been broken. And that bond is, it, it's in their hearts. It goes deep into their hearts. And uh, that's what Veterans Day means to me. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Screen. Hi, I'm here with Brandon Camp. And Brandon, what does Veterans Day mean to you? Veterans Day to me means um, a day of appreciation to the soldiers who have lost their lives and also the soldiers that have served for our country to um, make us free. And uh, any soldier you see today, you should say thank you. Hi, I'm here with Pat Kays. And Pat, what does Veterans Day mean to you? Um, to me, Veterans Day is just honoring those who have fought and died for our country and helped make us free, I guess. Thank you, Pat. Hi, I'm here with Joe Howard. How are you doing today, Joe? Pretty good. So, you're enlisting in the military, right? Yeah. What branch? Army. Um, do you have any family in the military? Um, no, just my grandpa was in the military, that's about it. And um, what made you want to enter? Um, pretty much uh, my uh, family and friends just uh, supporting our country would be definitely a great thing to do, and it just seems like the right thing to do. It's a great start to my future. Definitely. And um, last question, what does Veterans Day mean to you? Well, it means a lot because, I mean, come from Veterans Day, this is why our country's free. I mean, fighting for, fighting for our country and uh, makes our free, so Veterans Day actually means a lot. Thank you for your time, Joe. Thank you. Hi, uh, I'm here with Lane Coffing. How are you doing today? Fantastic. So you're enlisting in the military, correct? Correct. And what branch are you enlisting in? Uh, Army Reserves. 
Um, do you have family in the military? Yeah, my older brother, he's in the military. And um, what made you want to enter the military? Um, well, I wanted to keep a family thing going, and um, I also wanted to become an officer and go to college. So. And what does Veterans Day mean to you? Um, it means a lot of things. It means, one, I should uh, always you know, support whoever has served in the military and thank them for fighting for our country and a lot of stuff like that. So. All right, thanks for your time, Wayne. Hi, I'm Al Garrick here with Mr. Snyder. How you doing today, Mr. Snyder? Hey, we're doing great. It's a little bit of snow coming down, and it's almost deer season. So, what can you say? Yep. And it it is the uh, it's the day after Veterans Day currently. So, um, starting things off, how long have you been in the military? Well, I um, I joined the military in 1997. Um, it was my sophomore year of college, and uh, I had long wanted to be a part of the military. My my father was in uh, drafted during Vietnam and in the Air Force for 20 years, and my great grandfathers both were part of uh, the Army in, uh, during World War II and both fought overseas. So, um, part way through college, I decided that it was something that I wanted to do and wanted to give back, and uh, so been in since '97. And I know one of the questions that you had for me was, you know, what does my job entail right now? I'm uh, in an inactive status, so um, I don't really have a responsibility as far as a, a job uh, in the military that I have to uh, report to or I'm responsible for. Uh, being inactive means that um, I could still be called up if I needed to be. Um, if they needed help or if they needed somebody with my training, um, they could do that. But uh, as it stands right now, I'm kind of free to do this job uh, here at RHS full time. So. Yep. Okay, and um, and you being a veteran, what does Veterans Day mean to you personally? Well. Um, being that from my family, I mean, I we were kind of a long line of veterans. Uh, I've always looked up to uh, what a soldier does or a, a sailor or a Marine, airman, um, what the military does. I grew up on a military base. I grew up in Albuquerque, New Mexico, which uh, has Kirtland Air Force Base out there. So I've always been around veterans. I've always been around people that have served. And I think what it means to me and, and being that, you know, I've had the opportunity to do the same um, it's just um, it, it's something proud, uh, I, not so much proud or pride for myself, but but pride for our country. It means uh, that you know we have people that are out there willing to uh, you know provide us the freedom that we have. I've been to several, I've been to a lot of different countries, um, and the one thing that you know we as Americans have and we take for granted sometimes is our freedom and it, it requires us to have guys go over to other countries and fight uh, and sacrifice and and even if they they didn't actually get into a, a war or a combat um, just serving and being ready for that uh, is a deterrent and uh, so you know I know a lot of people that uh, may not have actually been in a war um, but have served our country and it's just important to me that, that they've done that so um, when I say pride I just it's I'm very proud of our country. It, it's a, uh, it's kind of a sad day uh, because a lot of the uh, the veterans that we honor and that we recognize are no longer here with us, um, and that's tough. But uh, but you know, being a part of the that brotherhood, uh, it, it's really special to me. In your everyday life, how has it how has it helped you since then? Sorry about that. Um, how has the military helped me on a on a day to day basis or in my life? Um, I, I think I think part of it's just hard work uh, and work ethic. Uh, you know, there's really in the military there's no uh, set times for for when you work. You work till the job's done. Uh, kind of reminds me of uh, you know you know being a farmer out here uh, in Indiana. Depending on the time of the season and what's going on, you just you work till it's over uh, or until you get the job done. So, uh, you know, the nine to five hour type thing is uh, is not really something that I've ever really been used to. Um, I think uh, I've learned a lot of adversity, how to, how to ha handle adversity. You know, um, it seems like every time that um, 
in the military we had something uh, planned and ready to go um, it always we always had to have a backup and uh, and we had to learn how to get over some of those those tough things and then, you know there were times that we uh, you know may not have gotten resupplies on time so we had to you know adjust and um, I, I think just being able to adapt when things don't go the way that you have planned I think is something that that I've uh, I've learned a lot on and and I, I would say relationships um, you know as a as a leader in the military as a leader at, at Rochester um, I think developing relationships whether it's with the students or with your staff um, understanding the needs of, of the people that you work with or that you work for uh, being able to um, you know, uh, be flexible with with people that you work with, and and when I say build relationships, you know, um, in the military you would think that uh, you know it's it's always about business, um, but the relationships that you that I built in the military uh, are lifelong relationships that uh, I have friends that I still keep in touch with and uh, and, and will never um, you know forget. They're they're like family to me, and and I I think that's important um, in any situation that you're into. Uh, you know, to really um, understand the people that you work with, know the people that you work with, and and make sure they know you care you care about them. All right. Well, that's all I have for you today. So thank you for your service and thank you for your time, Mr. Snyder. I'll let you get back to work. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I appreciate it.